He was the first player I ever met in India. And the first thing I saw was when he was 16, 17 at our trials, and it was 145 kilometer an hour fast bowler. And he stepped across and he scooped him. First ball, right? That's the mentality of Jason. He's had to fight for everything he's achieved in life. Hello and welcome to Cricket Next. I'm Swami Kapoor and with me is Rajasthan Royal CEO, Jake Lesh McCrim. Welcome to Cricket Next, Jake. Uh, how have you been? I've been good. It's a um, bit of a windy journey down here uh, in Dehradun, but the flight was stunning views coming in and looking forward to seeing some fantastic cricket today. Yeah, talking about uh, the campus cricket, how do you see this as, a, as an opportunity for the youngsters? I think it's a brilliant opportunity. I think what, 10,000 colleges across India, You've seen the talent that's come through it, like KL Rahul, and um, we had Shashank Singh as part of our squad previously, yeah. Rabada in the international one, um, also um, Ngidi, Ngidi, right? Prim, yeah. Ngidi as well? Yeah, Ngidi, I guess. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think, look, it's been a constant flow of talent yeah. from Red Bull Campus Cricket, um, both men and women, which is amazing. And we're here today to see the final. Yeah. And, and the youngsters get the, get an opportunity to interact with the international players and the experience. Well, how, how do you see that as an exposure for the youngsters? Oh, it's, it's always brilliant having guys like Yuzi Jahal here. You've got Dhruv Jarrell who's just launched on the IPL scene. Um, and he, I think the college he used to play for is in the final yeah. today. Yeah. So for all of those players just looking at Dhruv and saying, you know, he's gone from this yeah. to now performing against the best on the yeah. IPL stage is fantastic. So he had an amazing season. Yeah. Um, and now he just wants to share those learnings and keep getting better and better himself. And talking about the coaches in Rajasthan Royals as a franchise, are they also, you know, involved here, you know, taking notes of who the, who the players coming up? What, what is that process? Yeah, we, we have coaches through the whole setup. There's also lots of video recording done, which then gets shared with our team. Yeah. Um, and so, we, yeah, we're tracking all talent. I think we had five or six players come to our trials last year mm -hmm. who were part of Red Bull yeah. Campus Cricket as well as Red Bull Speedster. Yeah. And so I think, um, look, it's a great funnel for us. We we almost bought a player from uh, Speedster a couple of years back, but KKR um, bid more and we had no money left. Um, but we <laughs> Who had, was that? That was Ashok Sharma. Um, and then we had them as our net bowler this year as well. And he continues to do well. So I think we see it as a great funnel for our talent. Mm -hmm and uh, hopefully we get a few more players in our squad in the future. And the platform gives a lot of exposure to, uh, to the youngsters, as I said. Uh, I mean, how how much is the, you know, scouting guy's role play, you know, important in, in this process? Yeah, look, I think as a franchise, we're a data-driven franchise. But when it comes to younger Indian players, there's no data on them. Yeah. And that's where Campus Cricket, Speedster yeah. and these other um, innovations and funnels of talent are really important for us. Yeah. So with our you know, big international players, big Indian players, we're always back the data. Yeah. However, with our young Indians coming through, scouting is so important. Yeah. Seeing that talent, testing that talent under competitive environment, bringing them then to our high performance center in Nagpur, testing them against the best there, yeah. using our technology to then rank them against the best. Mm -hmm and then hopefully buying the best. And on a lighter note, Rajasthan Royals have a custom of, you know, unveiling the jersey in a very different way. Your take on that? Do you plan this or, or what it is? Well, there are more creative people than me who, um, <laughs> who go into the planning, but I think the one, I mean, there have been so many, the one when we were in a bubble in Dubai yeah. and a skydiver dropped in, yeah. a Red Bull yes. skydiver. Yeah. I mean, that was amazing, you know, in that bubble scenario to still be able to do something so spectacular. Um, last year, we, we had a, a motorbike um, yes. rider jumping off a stadium roof. Right, that's just not done anywhere else in the world. So I, I love that that sort of theme of releasing it in a different way. Um, this year we've got some world record breaking content, not around the jersey, but around again the link between Red Bull and high performance and RR. And over you know over the months and years to come, uh, we want people to see the bigger and bigger impact that Red Bull is happening having on our high performance side. So whether it's the athlete performance center in Austria, whether it's the mental performance coaches who are supporting us whether it's the players who are directly benefiting from the learnings of Red Bull because they've got so many sports. Yeah. How do we take all of those learnings and bring them into cricket? Yeah. I think over the years, you'll see a bigger and bigger impact from Red Bull mm. on the performance side. Um, and I think that's really powerful. Yeah. And uh, looking at the future, any any specific plans for a new you know new way of unveiling a jersey in the next coming years? Well, I, again, the creatives the creatives <laughs> do that. Um, I will I will leave it to them. Yeah. And, and coming to to the squad again, you know, Dhruv Jurel is, has been a fine for you guys. Your your take on the way he has you know fared in this tournament. Spectacular. Considering the the, uh, the chances he yeah, had, I think he was fearless. Yeah. He had a whole season last season where he didn't play. Yeah. And he came into the first game and he, he told me he said, Jake, last year not playing prepared me for this moment. Yeah. 
yeah. I'd been in, at least in the dugout many times. Yeah. I'd seen the players go on and off. I knew I had to take my opportunity. Yeah. And if you don't take your opportunity in the IPL, you might not get another one. Yeah. And so he went in there fearlessly. He played amazingly well, whether it was scooping, yeah. reverse lapping, whatever it is, he's got yeah. it. Um, and I actually was, I was speaking to him before the season because yeah. he put up a video of him smacking balls, scooping this. I said, Drew, just keep it quiet. Keep it quiet until, until you're performing, like until you've, you've done it on the IPL stage. Yeah. You don't want people knowing you can do it. Yeah because um, we had such confidence in him and so he's done brilliantly well he's got a great head on the shoulders yep. he works harder than almost anyone and he learns right that propensity to learn yeah is so important and he's um he's definitely got that and lastly yesha Swija as well mm. what a what a what a talent and what a tournament he has had your thoughts about owners and his performance jace was one of those players that we are more proud of than than anyone else because we're the only franchise he's ever been with he was the first player I ever met in India. And the first thing I saw was when he was 16, 17 at our trials, and it was 145 kilometer an hour fast bowler. And he stepped across and he scooped him. First ball, right? That's the mentality of Jason. He's had to fight for everything he's achieved in life. He's learned so much. We've developed him, whether we've helped him travel around the world, learned from different cultures. We've pushed him into business environments. Yeah. So he has to present in front of those people. Yeah. Anything that can challenge his mind mm. to get him better prepared for the pressure situation he's outstanding i mean just his hunger to win his hunger to be the best that's why he's just been picked in the india broader squad yeah. i think he'll play for india for many years to come and he'll play for rajasthan royals for many many years thank you thank you jay for your time thanks, thanks. so much